It's official award season has kicked off, but before we get to that, someone calling Hollywood royalty Angelina Jolie, get this, a minimally talented spoiled brat. Oscar winner Angelina Jolie is the subject of internal emails allegedly leaked from Sony Pictures Entertainment. The tense exchange appears to be from earlier this year between Hollywood producer Scott Rudin and Sony Pictures co-chairman Amy Pascal. The emails discuss Jolie, who seems to have objected to director David Fincher working on Sony's Steve Jobs biopic rather than working on her own upcoming Cleopatra film. In the email, Rudin makes his opinion of Jolie clear. I'm not destroying my career over a minimally talented spoiled brat who thought nothing of shoving this off her plate for 18 months so she could go direct a movie. I have no desire to be making a movie with her. She's a camp event and a celebrity, and that's all. This is the latest bit of private info to be leaked from Sony in recent weeks after a widespread hack of the company. One of Bill Cosby's accusers has filed a defamation lawsuit against the comedian. Tamara Green, a retired California lawyer who alleges Cosby drugged and groped her around the 70s, says comments made by his reps ruined her reputation and branded her as a liar. Green's lawyer says she filed the suit to restore her good name. The 66-year-old first accused Cosby of sexual assault in 2005. Cosby's reps have repeatedly denied Green's claims through the years. David Letterman has picked a date to say goodbye to The Late Show. The 67-year-old will host his final show on May 20th, 2015, after 22 years on the job. Fellow funny man Stephen Colbert will replace him. Steve Carell, Jennifer Aniston, Julianne Moore, Benedict Cumberbatch, Robert Duvall, Reese Witherspoon, and Eddie Redmayne all up for Screen Actors Guild Awards. They're among the A-listers who brought their movies to Canada's film festival TIFF this year. And Entertainment City has been right there with them from the start. Can we shake your hand? Yeah. This is an amazing performance. It's absolutely stellar. We talked to leading actor nominee Cumberbatch about the awards talk already gaining momentum back in September for the imitation game. Does it make you nervous that you hear the buzz already going for this one? A little, yeah. I'm thrilled that it's created a buzz and attention on the film. In fact, almost all the flicks that NAB SAG nominations made their premieres in Toronto, including Foxcatcher, which earned Mark Ruffalo and Steve Carell noms. Coach has great power on the athlete's life. Ruffalo told us Carell's performance in this film is worth any and all awards buzz. Probably one of the great performances, I'd say, of the decade. The Stephen Hawking biopic, The Theory of Everything, is also getting some major SAG props. I just hope that, um, yeah, people appreciate what we've done. On the TV side, Matthew McConaughey, Kevin Spacey, and Billy Bob Thornton all made the shortlist. Thornton for his role in Fargo on FXX. <laughs> and City's Modern Family stars earning a handful of nominations. Ty Burrell, Eric Stone Street, Julie Bowen, plus City's ensemble cast got props too. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Modern Family. Canada's own Tatiana Maslany scooped up a nomination for Outstanding Female Actor in a Drama Series for Orphan Black. The SAG Awards will be handed out January 25th. And remember, Entertainment City is your source for awards season coverage. And on that note, the second installment of the award-winning miniseries Fargo just got a major dose of star power. Golden Globe-nominated actress Kirsten Dunst and Jesse Plemons are coming to Canada for Fargo. The actors have just signed on to star in the second installment of FXX's Emmy Award-winning miniseries. They'll play a married couple when the season airs next fall. Production begins in Calgary next month. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge may have wrapped up their royal adventures in New York City, but everyone is still buzzing about it. It was a really much anticipated trip and they did not disappoint. So in this week's edition of Hello, we have a fun-filled photo album, all the candid moments, all the touching moments. Check it out in this week's issue on newsstands and your next issue app today. And remember, you can find your latest entertainment headlines on Twitter at NCity. Entertainment City is brought to you by Vanilla MasterCard and Vanilla Visa prepaid cards. One card, a million options.